Today you may have noticed there's lots of red here at 22 News as we recognize Love Your Heart Day and it's all part of our ongoing coverage of American Heart Month. We are decked out in our red for sure and as part of our continued effort to recognize heart health, we have two Bay State doctors in studio in studio with us today. Hello, this is uh, Dr. Namish Shah and Dr. Andrew Goldzweig. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Thank you for, Thanks having, for us. having us. Yeah, so of course we want to just start off by asking you to talk about what some of the major risk factors are when it comes to heart disease? It's sure. a great question. It's an important issue. There are a lot of risk factors out there, things that people can take action on. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes are certainly some of the best known ones. The most important risk factor, perhaps, to highlight for everyone is smoking. Tobacco is uh, one of the most significant risk factors nationally that causes heart disease and also one of the most modifiable. If you can quit smoking, you can live a longer, better life. It's good to know. And Dr. Shaw, this question's for you. Many people will take aspirin at some point in their life to kind of help with those conditions. Is there a particular age that somebody should be beginning to take that? Well, in general, whenever beginning or continuing new medications, um, that is sort of an individual discussion that each patient should have with their doctor. But we know now that in recent years, the recommendation to take a preventative daily aspirin has actually changed. So uh, now we actually recommend for people that have an intermediate or higher risk of heart disease or have had heart disease previously, that those are patients that should probably more likely be on aspirin for preventative measure. But people that have not had a higher risk or had heart disease in the past warrant a discussion with their doctor about whether or not they should stay on or continue an aspirin. All right, and Dr. Goldsquig, our next question's for you. So sometimes surgery is necessary to deal with heart issues. What are some of the major types of procedures that are out there? Heart surgery can be necessary and can fix a lot of heart issues. Heart surgeries can be designed to open blockages or bypass blockages in the coronary arteries to replace heart valves and to close off areas of the heart that are causing problems and can be prone to blood clots. Fantastic news is that in 2024, many of these procedures can be performed without surgery, instead in minimally invasive fashions. Tiny catheters can be fed through the arteries and veins in the arms and legs. Maximally uh, efficacious procedures can be performed in a really minimally invasive fashion. Stents can often be used to open blocked arteries, and valve replacements actually can be performed through tiny catheters through the leg. Yeah, All so right. just more technology as you know we advance, it just seems like there's more options out there for people as well. There are definitely more options out there for people as well, and that's great news for everyone. Definitely great Thank news. You. Thank you both for being here tonight. Very valuable information. Dr. Shaw and Dr. Galtzweig, both of Bay State Health. And thank you again for being here with us tonight. Thank you for having us. Thank you.